what is up everyone today we are doing something a little different um we are going to break into our um, channel specific sketchbook today and we're also going to be using the himi gouache set i got forever ago and my plan for today is that we are going to draw some fall themed bunnies and paint them and see how that goes so yeah i hope you guys are excited because i sure am even though i'm a little scared so yeah let's get into it All right, first things first, let's open this baby up. This is gonna be the first time we've used this sketchbook. So I'm not really nervous about ruining the first page. Um, I'm actually not sure what to do with these yellow pages. Uh, yeah, it's kind of a, I don't know. I don't do those, we'll figure something out later. But yes, let's get started sketching some buns. Let's see if we can fit you guys in the screen first. Okay, let's get started. I will have all of my references linked in the description below. And if you see my Merlin-esque robe, please ignore it. This is going to be a staple in videos because it's really comfy. Alright. <clears throat> trying to make these a little bit small. Um, smaller than I'm used to drawing because we're going to do three and I want to make sure they all fit on this one page. But yeah, I've been on a bit of a bunny kick lately, I don't know. I really want one, but my dog, well, one of, well, actually both of them, do not like small animals. So that's going to be a no-go. And apologies if I do not talk during this whole thing. Um, I've had a scratchy throat this past few days, so I'm gonna try and take it a little easy on the talking. I don't draw bun bunnies very often, so please forgive any glaring errors if you're familiar with bunnies, because I am not. What well, I know about bunnies, really, that's odd, is that they do not have paw pads, which is kind of weird. We have a potato with ears. Let's give him some eyes so we can start marking out where everything is. This is looking bunny-ish, I think. What do you guys think? see the other ear in this reference. So I'm not sure if I should draw it or not. Yeah, if you're hearing this audio, it means that I actually decided to go ahead and put it in instead of doing a voiceover because, um, I don't know, I've been getting kind of tired of doing voiceovers lately, so I'm gonna try and do the uh, live, I guess, audio and see how that works. See if it um, decreases my production time any when I'm trying to edit the videos, put them together and stuff. Um, part of the reason why I don't do, um, uh, like, audio as I'm drawing is because, number one, my husband works night shift, so he's usually asleep while I'm filming these, and he's actually asleep right now, but he keeps assuring me that I will not wake him up because he can sleep through thunderstorms. So today is going to be a test. We are going to see if he will actually sleep through this. I'm trying to be a little bit quiet anyways, but yeah. And also, um, I have been scripting my audio lately because I'm really bad at talking live. Um, I don't talk a whole lot ever. So this um, trying to figure out stuff to say and not doing all these ums and ahs is really like, it's new. <laughs> but I feel like I'm getting better at it just from doing the script. Which is kind of one of the reasons why I made this channel anyways, is because I want to get better at talking and not be constantly fumbling over my words 
that's a real point of a self-consciousness that I have is that I tend to stutter and stumble a lot and can't um, just properly make my thoughts translate to actual words and it's super annoying and it gets me in trouble and makes me look stupid and causes a lot of problems that I would rather not have so yeah that's one of the reasons I made this channel. I don't know why I'm trying to make this so light because gouache is like so opaque that we're gonna lose all the sketch anyway so it doesn't really matter but anyways yeah. So just like getting out the basic shapes should be enough. This bunny looks a little sad. I don't know why. Maybe it's this line here. It's making him look like he has baggy eyes. Let's see. It's a little better. I hope the body isn't too short. Because I can't really see the proportions that well from this angle. Because I have my uh, paper more far up on my desk than usual, just so it fits in the camera frame. Yeah, I think I'm gonna bring this down a little. I don't know, it just feels too short, too squat. I think that's good. All right, let's do his little crown. Guess we could do some leaves up here. I don't want to get too detailed because I'm not used to gouache and I know that it tends to um, blend a lot when you layer it over other shades so I don't want to get like too busy here and just end up with like a just a muddy mess of colors. All right there's bun number one. Let's do number two. I need to figure out where all these bones are going first because I don't want to make them too big. Can you see that? I'll move this up a little. I don't want to make them too big and not be able to fit them all. <clears throat> you know what? I might have already made them too big, but that's okay. We will. Uh, not erase it and if it happens to be too big for me to fit the body we'll just make a uh, we'll just cut it up a little <laughs> have one of those neato sketch spreads going on i think all the bunnies in my references are babies so they're extra cute yeah, I think we're gonna have to have this bunny fade out down here because he's just too big and I don't want to erase him. So I have some ideas for color schemes for these guys, but I'm not sure which one we're gonna do on which bunny. I think I wanna do um, one that has the bunny in blue and the crown in orange. And Maybe one with the bunny in yellow and the crown in orange. Or, no, red would look more like ketchup and mustard. We don't want that. So, I don't know. Maybe, I don't want to do a brown one too. So we'll find a different, maybe do the uh, crown on that one in yellow. I think that would look good. Hmm. Let's do some random sticks for his crown. Some acorns over here. Alright, last bunny sketch. 
I just noticed that all of my references are looking to the left. Did not intend for that to happen, but it is what it is. Looking a little crazy eyed there. Let's try and fix this eye because he looks really creepy. That's yeah, better. They have such big muzzles. Like their front lips are so huge. You can barely see their little chin. I don't even know where to put it. <laughs> and they had like these little curvy things and then their cheek goes here. And then we got the ear. That looks a lot cuter than it did. <laughs> I really like this bunny. I think I'm also going to do like little accents around the page just to make it more cohesive after we get these bunnies done. Maybe with the extra paint we'll do like some little acorns and stuff around the page. Alright, now I need to tighten up these crowns a little bit so we have a, more of a guide to follow when we're painting them because right now they're really loose and I can't even tell what's going on so yeah let's fix that. I don't know how well colored pencil works over gouache, but I'm thinking I might just do like the base color for the crown in gouache and then do colored pencil or something over it because I'm not really confident that I can get the color shifts I need in these leaves with gouache without activating the paint beneath. We'll see. All right. I hope that these aren't so loose that painting is going to be difficult, but YOLO, I guess. We'll see. So I'm going to put this aside and let's mix some colors we want to use for these bunnies. Let's see. What do we need? Okay, let's do the blue one first. Uh, this is from um, another test painting I did. I uh, did a little Shiba Inu on wood, so I wanted to see how it worked with, what do you call it? Wood burning. So it's a little experiment I get, I did, so I might show you guys that sometime. I don't have any footage of it though. So let's just get some various blues in here. There's dog hair in my gouache. Why am I not surprised? need to uh, activate that <laughs> after I've already put a bunch of paint in there. Have more power than like so I can actually see what I'm doing. Here we go. So I've learned that a little bit of gouache goes a very long way. And that being said, I'm probably using too much. That's okay. We'll figure it out. My uh, paints are already like really, like there's a lot of mixing going on already, even though I haven't used it that much. So yeah, it doesn't, I guess it doesn't really matter. Ooh, I almost dropped a big glob of yellow and the brown as soon as I said that. That's nice. Oh, wrong one. I'm not even planning these colors. I'm just like, I'm winging it, guys. It will get done one way or another. Hmm, let's, I think we can leave the browns as they are in there, cause they look pretty good to me. So let me wipe this off as much as I can. And let's see, we're gonna do a brown bunny. And I meant like leaving the browns in there as they are for <laughs> the like sticks and the acorns and stuff. But yeah, for the bunny that's going to be brown, we are going to need some different shades. I think that one that I already have mixed will probably work. 
But yeah, let's get some more variations in here. I don't even know if I'm mixing gouache right. Like I watched a bunch of videos about how to gouache, um, but that was like months ago. So I don't remember pretty much any of what I saw other than that, other than that they're hard to mix. So probably not the best idea to be just diving in like this, but I just don't really care. I just want to get into this and just learn on my own. I find that I learn best when I just jump into things and don't like, I guess, like try to follow like a set thing. Just doing my own thing and learning as I go. That's how I learn. This is so messy. It looks so bad. <laughs> I hope we can make something out of this. They are so thick, oh my god. I can feel that I'm gonna have so much paint left over. I hope this does not annoy you guys with how I'm just like glooping this in here. I know I'm probably wasting a lot of paint, but luckily these paints are pretty cheap, so I'm not too concerned. So I'm thinking I'm gonna go in with the lightest shades first and then see how the darker shades layer over that because I'm not sure how the lighter colors are gonna lay over the greens once we put the darker ones down. The greens. You know what? I don't know what I'm saying, so just I'm gonna just shut up and we're just gonna get started. Okay, let's get a smaller, cleaner brush. I really need to clean my brushes. And let's start with this bun. I already have paint on me. So I'm just gonna try and follow the reference as best I can and just see where the lighter areas are. And then just try to paint there instead of doing a bunch of like different layers. Oh, I can still see my sketch pretty well under here. So, well, that was unexpected. I guess that's good. I can't believe I actually remembered to work um, right to left this time because a lot of times I start working left to right and for some reason forget that I'm left handed and end up smearing everything that I do. All right, next, let's get some of this into blue and just start working our way out. Is this actually blending? Like, I didn't think that it would do that, but it is. I like that these paints are so creamy. It makes it really easy to push it around the paper. Let's make this leggy a little darker, just so we can distinguish it from the body, if we can. When it dries, it's kind of streaky. I don't know how I feel about that. I think I'm using too much water. Shouldn't be surprised considering how I kept, kept having that problem when I was using watercolor. I think we've definitely entered the ugly stage with this one. See what we could fix. I am using the wrong water to clean that. Let's start going in. Ooh, I have another spot brush I can use. Let's start going in with some of these other blues that we got here. See what happens. This is definitely like a whole different feeling than using watercolor because I, I guess it's kind of like a mix between watercolor and marker honestly because I don't have like there's not that a uh, unknown variable like you don't like you can't 
quite predict where the water is gonna go. I mean, you can control it, but you don't have total control. And I kind of looked it up about watercolor. It adds like its own little personality. Um, the marker I have more control, and this is like kind of an in between. I don't know how to describe it. I feel like I uh, the control that I do have, I don't know what to do with. <laughs> Just kind of odd. It's kind of a, uh, I don't know. Don't know what I'm saying. I'm tempted to go ahead and do the eye because it's bothering me that it's just a white eye. Let's work on everything else a little bit more. I don't know why I'm doing these little details already. I'm not even done blocking in yet, I don't think. Lifting the paint up doesn't work as well with gouache as it does with the watercolor. Gonna get used to that. Can we go back in with something lighter and cover it? Not really. Oh well. Let's do the eye. Maybe it'll make me like it more. That actually worked. <laughs> I'm starting to like it more. What a cute patoot. Here we go. It actually, I thought that was black. Did not realize it was actually dark blue, but it works. <laughs> so we're not gonna complain. blending with the stuff underneath that was supposed to be dry, but honestly, I think it doesn't look bad. I keep pausing to look at the, the uh, preview on my laptop because it helps me uh, kind of uh, affirm that it doesn't actually look terrible. <laughs> Like maybe my perspective here is just fully me into thinking it looks halfway decent, but it seems to be all right on the laptop too. That's a relief. That's a big loop. <clears throat> Hope this isn't too painful to wash for those of you who are already used to gouache, but I am not. I am struggling a little bit. Too much white there. Let's see if we can blend it a little. Paints are starting to get a little dried up here. I don't know where did those globs come from. I feel like the gouache might be too chalky to use 
Am I getting pain everywhere? Okay. Too chalky to use with the colored pencil, but... I know from trying it before in little ex uh, experiments that it does work surprisingly well with the gel pen. So I might go in with gel pen to do the lines. We'll see. That's cute. I like how the uh, orange, I mean the yellow looks with the blues. I think my oranges are getting a little bit muddy. We'll find a way to fix it. You know what? I'm about to give up on gouache for these leaves because I don't know what I'm doing. I don't think I'm experienced enough to do leaves. And I'm starting to get yes, less yellow and more orange. I don't want that. I want them to stay yellow. So I think we're going to let that dry a little bit and then try to get some more of the yellow in there and then see where to go from there. Let's do some of the line work on this bunny in the meantime. Greetings everyone, it is I, voice over me. Here to take over the narration of this video because it was about this point that video me sank into the depths of uncertainty concerning these rabbits and stopped talking altogether. Since there's no talking and this video is already super long, I went ahead and sped up the rest of this for, for all of you. So in case you didn't hear me mention it quite a number of times throughout this process so far, I have no idea what I'm doing with gouache and I was pretty skeptical about how well these were turning out. As often happens to me, it wasn't until I came back to these studies the next day that I actually quite liked them. The blue bunny is definitely my favorite because I spent the most time on that one. I'll admit that while working on the other two, I was getting pretty tired and probably could have used a break before continuing, but I decided to power through them. The second rabbit was definitely the hardest one for me. Somehow I completely forgot about the technique I used for the first rabbit where I blocked in some of the colors one at a time instead of doing a base layer first. I think that method worked out a lot better for me in this study because I was able to work with these paints without suffering too much from the paint blending with the layers beneath it. I struggled a lot with the blending issue on the second rabbit and I kept trying to patch it over with more layers and more colors and at the time it seemed like nothing was working and to be honest I didn't finish it so much as give up. But like I said, I did like it more when I looked at it the next day and it definitely didn't turn out as bad as I thought. Um, one of the things that gave me pause about working with gouache was just how streaky it is. I did water my gouache down. That's how I've seen them used before, so that's how I chose to use them. I'm not 100% sure if that's correct, so that probably something to do with it. But after watching other people's gouache videos, I noticed that some of them have the same thing going on, so I guess I shouldn't be too concerned. It just seems to be something that happens when you put that first layer down as far as I can tell. So I don't know, I'll just have to keep playing with it with various water ratios and see what it does.
Honey number three was my second favorite of the bunch. After doing the first two in unnatural colors, it was nice to fall back into my comfort zone of natural colors for the last one. Also, I forgot to mention that um, colored pencil does indeed work quite well with gouache. I was pretty pleased to find that out and will probably actually plan ahead to include those in future pieces. I didn't end up using the gel pens very much at all for these, but like I said, they do work pretty well over gouache as well, so I definitely want to include these in future pieces too. After finishing these bunnies, I added in a few simple fall themed accents on this spread with colored pencil. I want to start working on making my sketchbook spreads more appealing and I think this page came out pretty good. These bunnies might have given me a hard time but it was a great learning experience for me and I'm definitely going to uh, keep going with gouache and not give up. Um, this set especially is really bright and fun and I'm, I really want to just keep going until I get the hang of it. Uh, so yeah, kind of a, a difficult... Uh, practice try but you know we'll get there anyways i hope you guys liked the video i know this is a bit different and longer than my usual uploads but i enjoy watching longer draw with me type videos so i thought i'd try my hand at making one myself if you enjoyed it don't forget to like comment and subscribe for more if you haven't already thank you for watching and see you guys in the next one